Some people will argue that a belt conveyor that is well designed and properly maintained will run without the need for any training devices. In reality, if it wasn't for external forces, that might be true. But today in the material handling industry, at least one of the following problems occur at some time in almost every application. Structure is not straight and level. Pulleys and idlers are not square with conveyor center line. Belt splices are installed crooked. Broken cords within the belt. Mechanical failure of any conveyor components. Extreme weather conditions. The most common problem is neglected maintenance. Belt misalignment is a continuous problem. Misalignment affects the entire conveyor. When a belt misaligns, it has the potential to cause damage to many areas of the conveyor system. Off-centered loads are serious problems that are caused by belt misalignment. When material is not centrally loaded, product is lost through voids between conveyor belt and skirt board rubber. This spillage must be routinely cleaned by maintenance crews, which can become expensive and time-consuming. As you can see by looking at the edges on this belt, belt misalignment causes belting to travel side to side. This damages the structure and the single most expensive item on the conveyor, the belt itself. Belt alignment is an ongoing problem that must be controlled continuously. Most people will agree that training idlers are a necessary evil. However, they will also agree that none of them work as well as they should. Arch Environmental Equipment Incorporated has the answer to your belt training needs. The newest addition to Arch's line of conveyor maintenance products is the Tri-Return Training Idler. This training idler is different from its competition because it works. Its patented design is the reason. Unlike conventional trainers, the Tri-Return design incorporates three idler rollers instead of a single idler roll. As you can see, the first roll is positioned in the center and the two following rolls are at a descending angle. The idler rolls are mounted on a steel frame with a central pivot point and guidlers on both sides. This design is unique because it allows the trainer to conform to the natural cup of the belt. When a belt is loaded with material, it is forced into a trough. As the belt travels on the return side, this trough becomes a cup. When a conventional training idler is placed against this cupped belt, it only contacts the belt in two points the outer edges. The tri-trainer design allows it to contact the entire width of the belt. This amount of contact allows the tri-trainer to automatically center the belt. Pay close attention to how quickly the trainer reacts when the belt misaligns. For video purposes, it is necessary to lead the trainer by hand so that it will be possible to see how quickly the trainer reacts. If you are presently using a single roll trainer, it may look similar to this application. It is easy to see how this type of design is unable to adjust properly to self-align the conveyor belt. Single roll idlers simply do not have the contact they need to work effectively. We've shown you the Tri-Trainer's unique patented design and how quickly it reacts. Now we'd like to show you how to install it. The trainer is mounted with simple brackets that are bolted to the structure. The Tri-Trainer brackets are custom fitted to allow them to bolt in place of the existing idlers. Once brackets are in place, simply lift the frame and place it into the notch. Once the frame is in place, lock it down with the J-bolt provided. That's all there is to it. You've installed your new Tri-Trainer.